is Lucinda from Lucy's Books and I'm here to do another small book haul. The reason I say small is because half the books I got this month, part of the month, have been Kindle books and the rest are just ones I've picked up in town and ones I've ordered. So I'm just going to get started. And the first five books are Kindle books. Um, the first one I got is The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Sorry that there's a bit of light shining the sorry. I don't know if you can see the cover well but I think if you might be able to see the eyes of the person. But anyway it's just like a dark blue cover and it's got like the outline of someone's face in the background and it's really I really like the cover. I've seen the cover version and it's really nice. If anyone had seen this cover before, they know what I'm talking about, don't they? Just I don't know. But anyway, I got this one because it was 49p and I've wanted to read it for a while. And two because I keep watching the trailer for the movie that's coming out next year and I just can't stop watching it. It just looks like such a visually stunning film and it's by Baz Luhrmann who directed one of my favourite ever films, Moulin Rouge. So yeah, I'm just really excited for it. Um, and I've sort of been obsessed with the 1920s because it's set in that time period and I've just been wanting to get my hands on any books or anything that's set in that period. So yeah. But anyway, I've got that and I'm really excited to read it. It shouldn't take me too long because it's only 180 pages, but yeah, I'm excited for it and I'm more excited for the movie, even though it comes out in May two, 2013. That's too long to wait. But yeah, the official full length trailer was released earlier this week, so I'm just getting really hyped and excited about it. And I love the costumes in the trailer, they just look so nice. Um, but yeah, that's that one. The next one is. Um, ethereal, or oh, Ethereal, I don't know how you say it, by Addison Moore. And this is. <clears throat> I'm not too sure what it's about. It's like, I'm presuming it's like a paranormal love story sort of thing. Um, but it was free on the Kindle store, so I definitely picked it up. And plus, it had really good reviews. And so, yeah, I got that one. I really like the moon and the clouds in this one. It's simple, but it's an effective cover. So, yep, that's that one. The next one I got is. <clears throat> Betrayal by, I think it's May Andre, something like that. May Andre, Michelle, and I think this is to do with Greek mythology. Um, but again, it was free. All of the Kindle books, apart from The Great Gatsby, were free, so that's why I got them. And yeah, I'm not too sure exactly what the story is about, but just from what I've read, it's about Greek mythology and gods and all that kind of stuff. So it sounds interesting, and I've read the the only Greek mythology book I've read is The Latin Thief by Rick Riordan and I enjoyed that so this sounds pretty good and I hope you'll enjoy it. The next one is The Fallen Star by which is also by Jessica Sorensen. The guy in the cover there and the blue lights on it. Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure what this one's about either. Um, I just picked it up because it was free and it sounded cool. But I haven't really checked out what the story is about. It's a bit silly, but if it's free, I'm not going to argue with that. So that's that one. And the last one I got is. Just wait till it comes on. Oh. Prince of Wolves by Quinn Loftus, I think. Um, I'm presuming by the title that this is about wolves. Um, like werewolves, um, and again it was free, so and it sounded good, so I picked that one up, and yeah, I'm not too sure what the story exactly is about, but I've only read a couple of werewolf books before. I've read Raised by Wolves by Jen Flynn Barnes, but I didn't really enjoy that one too much, and I also read um, this one a werewolf book, but I've read the Sucky Stack House series by Charlene Harris, and a lot of them books have werewolves like a subplot, and it was interesting learning about it. So I don't know where I'll, whether I'll end up liking this or not liking it, but hopefully it'll be good. So yeah, that's that one, and that's all my Kindle books. 
Um, the next two, I don't know if you're interested in these, they're both academic books for my university course. Um, the first one, I don't know why I said academic, this is more of like a guidebook thing and it's Small Town Strange World, an un uh, unofficial and unauthorised guide to Smallville and I got this because I'm trying to write some of my dissertation on Smallville and I just picked this one up because I couldn't find a lot of critical books about it. Um, so I got this, but I don't know if you're too interested in it, so I'll just move on to the next one. And it is A Visitor's Guide to Mystic Falls by various authors, and this is about the Vampire Diaries. So, I got this because what it helped from the dissertation then. I love the Vampire Diaries, so it's a win-win situation. Um, the next four books I got are all from a shop in town called Publishers Book Clearance. If anyone's from the UK, and they have one in their town or city, then they'll know what I'm talking about. And they have really good deals. Like, I went in there the other day, and almost every paperback was a pound. And I was just like, oh my god, that's so good. It's even better than the works deal. So, yeah, I couldn't resist getting four books from there. I wanted to get more, but I limited myself. The first one is Pictures of Lily by Paige Toon. I really love this cover. I love how chocolate books can be really... They can be really descriptive with the pictures and the colours and everything. I just love chocolate books because they're nice and girly and they make you want to pick them up. I really love this cover and from what, um, from what I can gather from the back, it's about a girl who moves to Australia when she's younger and falls in love with someone and then she comes back home or she comes to England and her boyfriend there proposes to her but She's sort of torn between the guy she left behind and the guy who's proposed to her, so it sounds pretty good. Yeah, and I've heard that Page Tunes are quite a good chocolate author, so I'm gonna. Don't know when I'll get to it, but it should be sometime this year. Yep. Um, the next one is Prized by Cara. Cara, I don't know how you pronounce the name. O'Brien, and I think it's a dysterpian series, and. So I love the shop for the first one, birthmarked, and they didn't seem to have it, but this was only a pound, so I picked it up. I have no idea if I'll like the first one when I get around to buying it, but I thought I might as well get it because it's about to see it in the next time I come in. So I got that one. So I really like the cover, how I mean the picture on the front, how her face is made of words. It's just really awesome. The next one is I was really surprised to find this in there because it's quite a popular. Well, it's quite a new release, so I was real surprised. But anyway, it's Ashes by Ilsa Jebik, and I think this is about some sort of dystopian series about survivors and something happens to the world and people have got to try and survive. It sounds pretty similar to Dark Inside by Jen Roberts, which I really loved. But I've heard quite good things about this one, and yeah, so I'm excited to start that. The other thing that bugs me is because when I got it there's like a sort of crease right down the middle of the cover the bottom of it and it affects the page inside and me being the picky weird person that I am it's just gonna annoy me because it's all down the pages but this was the only copy I could see in there so at the time I wasn't bothered so hopefully it won't, I won't let it bother me too much but that's that one the next one is Pain Merchants The Healing Wars by Janice Harder. I think this is another disturbing book, but from the cover I wouldn't guess it to be a disturbing book. I'd guess it I'd guess it to be a fantasy series, but um the channel Dark Calling95, they read this series and they said it's a really good underrated disturbing series. I think they're called Adib there. I correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, his channel he says that it's really good, so I decided to get it. And I've been buying it in there for a while. It's been in there for ages, so I decided to get it. So I'm looking forward to that one. Um, and the books that I'm currently reading, I'm reading two at the moment. <coughs> the first one is Loose in the Sky by Page Toon. Um, this is like a chiclet book, and it's the same author of Pictures of Lily, which I showed earlier in the video. And yeah, it's just like a chick with love star thing. I really love the cover. 
I really love how the words, you can see the aeroplane spelling out the title, like with the smoke behind it. It's really good. Um, as for the story, I'm sort of disappointed with it. Like, it started off good, but the main character is just bugging me, and I just can't really connect to the character. She's okay, but it's letting the book down, so I'm sort of disappointed with that. And the other one I'm reading is Sender by Marissa Meyer, and this is a brilliant, brilliant, lovely cover. I love the way that, I love the font of the title and just the foot in the, in the shoe and the wires and the mechanical stuff inside her leg. It's just a really awesome cover and I really like the fact that this is the dystopian book but it's set in, it's set in China in something in New Beijing. Um, but most dystopian books are set in like either America or UK, but mostly America. And even though I've really loved American dystopian books, I really like how they've changed it because I've certainly never heard of or read of a dystopian that's been set in China, let alone Asia or any other country like that. So it's quite a good story so far. I think it's like a dystopian retelling of Cinderella. Ooh, Cinder, and then if you add Ella, it'd be Cinderella. But yeah. I'm enjoying it so far and hopefully it'll get better and better. So that's all the books that I've got. If anyone's read any of these or plan to read these or if you've just got anything to say then I'd really like if you could comment below and if you could tell I've started editing the videos like just the beginning and the end of them so if you've got any criticism about my editing then please let me know. Um, because I'm just starting to edit with my iPod, so I think that's it, so I'll see you next time, bye!